It's the first U.S. moon landing in 50 years, and part of the craft was created right here in Southern California. NBC 4's McCullough Medina joins us live from Torrance, where celebrations are underway. Hey, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was going to say, mission accomplished. The party is on here at Scorpio Space as they celebrate the landing of this lander, an autonomous lander that carried equipment they made right here in Torrance. Take a look at what, what the reaction was when it finally was announced. <laughs> Yeah, a, a little bit of claps because they weren't sure exactly if it was a successful landing or not. It landed about 3:23. It took about five minutes before confirmation, but when they uh, were they when they were able to confirm that, certainly the crowd here started celebrating. The champagne bottles were opened up. The small team of engineers have been very excited about being part of this historic mission. The first time the U.S. has been on the moon in more than 50 years, and the first time a private company anywhere in the world has has accomplished this goal. Now, the company here in Torrance created these uh, tanks, these fuel tanks, that really fueled this lander, made it possible for not only uh, it getting from Earth to the moon, but also it getting onto the surface of the moon. They're in the south pole of the moon right now, and uh, a lot of folks are certainly excited here in Torrance and even folks in Washington, D.C. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. So there you have it, the first time that we're back on the moon in 50 years, and that independent commercial company did it. Marcus owns a company here in Torrance that was part of it. You said you were over the moon. We are on the moon. <laughs> How exciting was it for you to watch it? Uh, it's like I can't describe it. It's been a long time coming, a lot of work. We were just so, so, so excited that as a small company and as a commercial company, we can make this kind of contribution and introduce kind of the, what's next in tank systems in space. Right, Marcus, thanks so much for talking with us so and being part of this show. And I also want to talk really quickly to one of the engineers. It's a young team of engineers here. Uh, we talked to you earlier when this first started out uh, last year, and now you're finally on the moon. What are your thoughts? Uh, it's unbelievable. There's no words to describe the feeling that, you know, that we have. We did it. We can look up on, at the moon at night and say we have what we worked on with our hands up on the moon right now. Yeah, that is a sight to see and certainly something historic. Thanks so much for talking with us. We certainly do appreciate that. So once again, we are on the moon, which is certainly something this team here has been anxious to hear, and they're very excited that they're part of history. In Torrance, I'm McConnell Medina, NBC4 News.